Hi everybody, it's Kama. Asai Super Dry has asked me to list five objects that were important in my journey in becoming a DJ and my journey in music and how that helped me in the creation of Doka. So Doka is a sound bar in the east side of Amsterdam. We as the music producers and the DJs helps in creating the sound system and yeah, it's a beautiful space. So the first thing and maybe the most important thing that helped me to become a DJ is my mom. I have a picture of her here where she's DJing back in the days. A lot of people know my dad was a DJ and a record collector, but not everybody knows that from my mom. But she was a professional DJ who played five nights a week while she raised a little Kama. So the second object that's important in my journey in music is the piano. This is the piano I used to play on as a kid. I had lessons every week. To be honest, I actually didn't really like playing from sheet music only. I thought it was kind of boring and I wanted to play it my way. So sometimes I messed up with the chords or I played it in different rhythms. I just want to play on my own way. I used to listen to a lot of cassettes when I was a kid and it, it always made me really comfortable. I think it was actually my first listening kind of experience. The record from Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah, I, I love the record. I, I listened to it many, many times. I know it by heart. But the first time I actually really listened to it was in Doka. I discovered new sounds. I was like, wow, I thought I knew the record, but this is a totally new experience. So after the event, I was thinking, wow, what a shame we rent the system and do this once a year. Why don't we have a system like this in a permanent setup and why can't we do this like every week five years later we have a system that is has also great quality in doka and um, yeah that's that's really amazing so the last object that is important to me and helped me in the creation of doka are these uh, tiny houses which are decorations from a uh, party Masalo and we played in Tokyo two years ago. It was in a club called Aoyama Zero and a block party from the Dazzle Drums, our good friends Kei and Nagi. It's a beautiful club with everything made of wood and great sound system and the best acoustics with wooden diffusers, handmade. And when we entered the club, there were everywhere these houses made as decoration from the party. They refer to the typical Amsterdam style houses. We call it uh, Grachtenpanden. And they were made by the community around that party. Yeah, it showed us how much love and effort they put into the party. We created Doka also with uh, a community of different kinds of people. And everybody's coming together with the same goal. And that was creating a space with a very good sound system where you can actually enjoy music in the way you want, sitting in a nice corner or dancing with your eyes closed somewhere. So even though I'm at home now all the time, I still like to discover new things. And recently I discovered this window in my house, which is the closest thing I have to an outside space. I like to start my morning here listening to the birds, have a moment and then I feel a bit more reconnected with nature and I go to the studio and make music. So the five objects I deconstructed are the picture of my mom, the piano, the cassette player, the record songs in the key of life and the decoration from a party in Tokyo. And these objects helped me in my journey in music by showing you this I hope I gave you some insight in my story.